Welcome to Weld.com. We're going to be doing a series of carbon arc gouging videos and I want, to, I want to do an intro on how to set up all the equipment. But first, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the videos. If you like our content, show a little love, hit the subscribe button. So what does it take to carbon arc gouge? What equipment is involved? First of all, there's a torch. This is a K4000 carbon arc torch. It requires an air source. It requires carbon arc electrodes. And the air is shot out of some holes down here at the bottom. We strike an arc with an electrode and the air displaces the molten metal that's created by the arc. So the torch itself, how do we power it? What's, what's required? Well, we're gonna run off of a, a DC constant current type welding source. So we have a power lug that our air comes into. This is coming from the machine. I have a ground clamp. I always try to do stuff without the ground clamp. It never works out for me, but I keep trying it. And we have an air regulator and air source. Quick disconnect on this rascal. And we're bleeding a little air here. And that's normal. So first we want to go back to the machine and I want to show you how things are hooked up and then I want to come back out here and, and go through some of these components and how to hook everything up. Okay, for this particular application I'm running off a of Lincoln DC 400. This machine has, uh, you know, it's got a couple of different features here. We want wire feed, constant voltage off of it. That's everything on this side. So I just want to forget of everything going on over here. This is actually switchable and it even says stick or carbon arc. Cool. Now I know where I'm at. So my leads are hooked up. I have a negative ground. I have a positive electrode. The positive electrode would go into the cable attachment where the air goes and we'll show you that in just a minute. So essentially I'm set up on constant current, the stick side, DC, electrode positive. The only other thing on this particular machine are, it has switches here for running remote, and I want to turn this contactor output terminal, I want that on, and local is going to be reading off of my analog meters here. So I want my contactor uh, this is electrically hot all the time, just like your stick electrode side would be. The only, the only difference is we have air running to our electrode. So this is a simple setup on this particular machine. You just have to pay attention to a couple of contactors. Other than that, we're up and going. Amperage control. This is on a scale. So I have a reference, I think, right about where it's set right now is in and around 240 amps or so. Plenty for what we were doing on uh, quarter inch electrodes. I may run this up just a little bit when we get to running in other videos. I may, I may run this up to right at 300 and just leave it at 300. But reference of amperage, contactors, polarity, good to go. Okay, we showed <clears throat> machine setup, uh, you know, leads and everything, and it's really pretty simple. It looks like a bunch of massive cables going everywhere, but it's really, it's really pretty simple. Speaking of which, you know, and I'm working on a lot of job sites, and there's cables and extension cords and stuff running everywhere. I like to keep my stuff a little bit organized, so I like to minimize all this stuff running everywhere and just kind of lay it out where I can at least walk over it, not tripping over it. Um, don't want to get cord locked, so to speak. So anyway, uh, now we're back to the torch. So again, you know, our ground clamp, DC EP, this is, uh, this is negative. Our electrode is positive. So here we have the positive lead coming from the machine into the power block. And here's our air source. Now this air, ho air hose is connected to this. I can assure you it's down there and it's looped around, but this is the end of this air hose going into the power block. So to get my air, I would simply plug this in and a quick disconnect. 
and I would adjust my air pressure. Now, the other part of this is the torch itself. So from, from the end of this power block with the air coming into it and my positive lead coming from the machine, I have the torch. Remember, I said this is electrically hot all the time, meaning if I had an electrode and I touched a grounded piece of metal, it's going gonna, it's gonna to arc and spark. So that's the beauty of this insulated shoe here. Um, I've hooked up a lot of stuff in the past, you know, been out in the field, and I've had to cut an old glove or something around a TIG torch dry rig. So both of our leads being electrically hot right here on this exposed fitting are now covered by a nice robust insulator here that slides up over and protects them. Meaning I can, if I'm up working high somewhere or in the catwalks or whatever and I move this, it's not gonna get grounded out. So I'm safe there. And that gets us back to our torch. I'd open this up and stick my finger. Yeah, I'm safe to do that. So this shoe in here swivels. So this would be like an electrode holder. So let's stop right here for a minute and have a little fun. Let's say I didn't have the air hooked up to this or I had the air turned off. I have my ground on the table here. Can I stick an electrode in there and weld with it? Yep, sure can. I could stick this on the table, reverse the polarity, and stick an electrode in here. So, you know, I'm asking a little question here. You got you to kind of understand how things are set up, what lead is hooked where, what it's going to do. It's just, it's an electrical circuit, and we're, and we're working off constant current DCEP with this process. Again, we're using carbon arc electrodes. We have an air source. We would slide this in here adjust our angle of how we want to get into our material, turn the air on, strike an arc, and gouge our material. And we'll show those processes in other videos. We'll experiment with angles and how to cut stuff apart. What is this process actually used for? What can you do with it? So I hope you found this educational. If you found the content good, show a little love there and go over and hit those uh, like buttons on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe. Oh, God, cut it off. Hit the share. Or, oh, God. Waiting on you. You are? My bad. I'm energizing. I don't know. I didn't know you were ready yet.